All right, let's start off this Gilgug video with my favorite and personal choice is the Gilgug high mobility type. What I normally run for just general purpose is the high mobility bullpup launcher. Um, beam nagging out of level. I run the HP parts melee and just straight damage with some melee defense and thruster. So essentially, I want to be in the fight as long as possible, trying to get as much melee damage off with my rocket launcher, providing stagger and stun for me to be optimal for melee. Um, beam rifle is also good if you can land it, and I prefer beam rifle than the rocket launcher in space, but on the ground, you can just splash, feet, kiss them goodbye kind of deal. Your freaking uh, Naginata will hit legs, cripple them. Makes the rocket launcher much easier to hit direct shots, so on and so forth. Your grenade, la your grenades are really good for chasing weapons and finishing kills that are trying to run away. So is your your MMP. Your shield is pretty durable. It's got 4.8k health. It is large, so it blocks a lot of bullets, and it's probably your best friend in close quarters combat. It will absorb melee hits that you don't want to directly take to lower your health. So I run my suit about 19k health with. 10 rip melee resist, 26 beam resist, and 19 uh, ballistic resistance with 8 range boost, 53 melee boost, 130 speed, which is baseline, and 78 thrusters. So we will take this in, and I will show you some of my tricks. So the AI here is set for 550, I mean 500 cost, which means that this 550 is a little bit over, but we get some gist of some of the damage we're going to put out. So, we got two enemies here. This is why I like the launcher. You can shoot in the middle of them. That's two enemies. When you can single one out, start wailing on them with your Naginata. So, your Naginata has a little bit of a ghost hit range with its downswing. So, that's going to hit the shield. That's hitting the tip. If we hit right here, never mind. I'm a little too close. That was a direct hit. But essentially, I figured out there's a little bit of a ghost hitbox on the downswing. As you can see right there, my Naginata hit right at the edge of this impact crater. The thing is, the ghost arc of the swing still hit the legs of the Gundam. Which means it's going to do leg damage and knock the Gundam down. If I was way more anticipated to it, rather than just thinking I'm not going to hit it, I would have capitalized on it, gotten in for the downswing when it's down, so on and so forth. That ghost range is... They're on all the Naginatas. I've done it on all the Gilgis, but it's probably my favorite to do on the high mobility because I can just skate around, cause as much damage as I want. This is also a melee oriented suit. So, a downswing, ups upswing, downswing combo, downswing is just going to hurt a lot more than most of your other goobs. High mobility launcher allows it to have six shots that travel relatively fast for a bazooka with a moderate reload time. I don't have reload parts on, but you know, probably better grenades. They do fair amounts of damage. Machine gun does also a fair amounts of damage for not even not being a shooting suit, but it has high it has some range boost to it. It's a melee priority. I have not confirmed. I was something I'm gonna ask my friend Jam about because he's probably fought me. He's fought me enough to know uh, whether it is high or medium. I think it's. I personally think it's medium. It's a lot of times I just kind of get screwed on uh, melee fights. The suit, you can abuse its speed, it has high thruster capacity. So, you know, you can skate around maps in space, it is almost impossible to run out of boost before you are on top of your target. In fact, you'll have way more boost than what you need, which means it's easy enough to just kind of just skate around targets in space and do as much as you want to them without them being able to react as easily as they would on the ground. And watch out because this thing does have force injector, which means you can mess up a dodge roll. Because, you know, everything works beautifully in this game, most of the time. Not really, but you know. Um, so really, this seems pretty simple. But you can abuse this force injector to, get, to manipulate fights with this bazooka, like with this rocket launcher. Straight up. Like, there's so many times that uh, I've survived 1v4 longer than I should have because I'm using the force injector combined with the thruster capacity to stun people, upswing or downswing them, knock them down, and just keep kying multiple enemies around buildings or obstacles to keep myself alive, waiting for my team to respawn and help me out. 
It also means I'm doing chip damage and chipping away at all my enemies, leaving it to where my eventual death will lead to cleanups. It does not have um, protection against mobile suit explosions, which means you have to be careful when you're in the middle of the fight. You know, if an enemy is dying, back up. Don't try and stay there. You'll get heavy staggered, and then you're going to be it. You'll be a big sitting duck. Don't want to do that. Um, one thing you can try and abuse on the Naginata is that sometimes, it, even though you've swung early, as you saw, just saw on this Grandpa Gundam, it might have a late chance to register, which means, it's okay. in my opinion, it's okay to kind of go in for a melee for with a goo. You don't know if it's going to hit or not, but at the same time, that extended swing means you're going to get tackled a lot easier. It's part, I think it's due to partial server latency. But, you know, it leaves Googs open for much more attack opportunities, unless you're running the Beam Saber. Then those are a lot tighter and cleaner hitboxes. Which, you know, that's chance of getting tackled, but no ghost hitbox to rely off of. Um, the Naginaya, so Mud has a really good uh, group fighting capabilities, as you can tell. just does a lot of damage. It's fast. I love it. Makes a lot of people uh, <laughs> upset when I kind of just dry it. <laughs> when I kind of just fly at people, rock at their legs, hit them, fly away. They don't see me for about 10 seconds. I fly back, hit them again. Their teammates are just unable to catch up with me. It's pretty hilarious. Suit so can play hit and run. It can play up in the face. It's great. Honestly, it's a very versatile suit. The one thing I don't say you should do is play like a sniper with the beam rifle. Don't do that. It has a good beam rifle, but this suit is not optimal for range. It's optimal for melee. You're taking away most of your suit's advantages by playing it from a long range. So I say this is a good support suit for melee. It's a good brawling suit. It's a good hit and run suit. It does everything well except for extended long range combat. Therefore, that is my overall explanation of the high mobility type. And yeah, it's my favorite Gilgu. Has a lot for it, going for it, not a lot going against it, except for its size and, you know, Goo Kit box, but you know. It's great. I suggest once you get your hands on it, try it out, so on and so forth. And that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys liked it and learned a bit about the high mobility type Gilgu. And hopefully you don't use it too much to bully me. Or, you know, predict me.